Hey guys, welcome and to some of you, welcome back. If you're here for graphics, for beautiful, grand, edited, awesome videos, uh, this is not going to be one of them. The focus in my videos is on flying and flight dynamics. Now that I've warned you about that and you still want to stick around, let's get into this. This is a video of my first impression of the DCS Mosquito. The video is broken down into two parts. The first part, the first five minutes are actually me testing the, the flight dynamics of the Mosquito and I'm talking about the simple stuff. This is something that as a real pilot I do with every airplane, whether it's in DCS or real life flying. And that part takes about five minutes of this video. The second part of the video is actually dogfighting. Um, and the reason I did that was I wanted to get a feel for the Mosquito. Okay, so uh, first things first, uh, take off, smooth increasing of the throttle. Uh, the smoother the better, but try to keep it on the, on the center line, either through rudder or through, through actually the throttles. The rotation is pretty nice, it just takes off on its own. But as soon as it took off, uh, I needed to use some rudder on this plane. Initially you think there's two engines, um, in a single engine prop, there's a lot of forces that work on a single engine and the airplane tends to pull into one direction because of that engine. But usually when you have two engines, they're uh, kind of going counter against each other, so they balance themselves out. So it's usually a little bit easier to handle, but the Mosquito actually has the engines turning the same way. Uh, apparently this was done for weight purposes, whatever that means, but it, it really, really throws the the airplane off balance there's a lot of rudder it's very touchy you can tell you can see it from even from the outside it's very touchy and it takes uh, it takes some rudder work to actually keep this thing going very realistic I think I've never flown an actual mosquito but it, this feels very realistic this this feels like I'm flying in a real real airplane I'm not kidding around after getting the feel for straight and level flying for a little bit, getting that rudder going, different speeds, um, I'm actually doing some steep turns. And um, one thing I want you to notice about the Mosquito, because they're side-by-side -side seats, so when we're turning to the right, you can see where the horizon is hitting the cowling in level flight. Uh, the nose almost looks pointed down, but we're actually staying pretty level. Now, this is going to change a lot once we turn around and then fly to the left and as we turn and fly to the left you can see where that horizon is hitting the cowling now it's way lower it looks like the nose is actually pointed up in the sky but we're, we're flying level this is just something to keep in mind with side-by-side -side seating um, as far as the turns um, again you need a lot of rudder it just looks different from turning left to right just because um, the, the, the way the engines are set up the mosquito seems to want to push to another side depending on the power settings I'm sure I'm sure this is something that real pilots hate it when they flew it uh, because it takes some work to keep the nose where you want it okay next thing I actually did was I did a loop and I'm glad I did a loop in this um, I started off nice and easy just a nice little 3 4 G pull and as I'm going up the mosquito loses speed pretty quick so as we were coming over the top uh, we're pretty slow so so at one point we were about zero G's uh, for a few seconds and the engine stopped I've had this happen in real life where the engine stops because it's the fuel is gravity driven and all of a sudden you don't have that gravity and the there's no fuel in the engine so the engine just stops you go and uh, it's not a good feeling but I'm glad I did it because now I know uh, this plane you don't want to keep it at, uh, at zero or under G's uh, basically the engine will stop on you okay the next thing I do this is something very important this is something boring but it's very very important uh, this is called slow flight um, basically what you do is you, you put the airplane in landing configuration uh, flaps down gear down dirty as we call it and you slow it down to the minimum controllable airspeed which is about 85 in the mosquito anything lower and it just the, it falls you can't control it so about 85 and we'll keep it about 85 and again because of the engines the weather set up and turning the same way there's a lot of rudder work involved I mean I'm talking about this is real life stuff I've never experienced the airplane that needed this much rudder work but it feels so real it just feels so right about this airplane I think they got this correct and the next thing I'm gonna do is actually turn in, in slow flight and um, this is even worse because 
now you're uh, sort of egging the airplane off. Usually you, you put it in a little shallow bank and the airplane will turn. But with a mosquito, because all these forces are happening, it just almost seems like I got to egg it on uh, to fly to the, to the right. Just, you know, go, go, go. It looks smooth, but it just feels like I'm egging it on. Um, same thing on the left. It feels different flying to the left. Seems like the, the tail wants to go in a different direction. And I have to control it using the rudder and uh, even turn it almost using the rudder. Again, this feels so real. So this is something good to note when you get into these speeds. This is basically just before touchdown speed. Just something to know how the, ha how the airplane will handle at this point. The last thing uh, from for the basic stuff is actually the landing. This is the first landing that I did and I'm showing. As long as it's about 120 or so, it seems controllable. And then as I'm coming in here, nice and smooth. Nice touchdown. Once the airplane slows down a little bit, uh, stick all the way back. And then you start pressing the brakes. Uh, because it's conventional gear, two gears up front, if you press the brakes, the airplane might want to tip over, so you want to hold that stick back. And then towards the end, um, the, I started losing a little bit of control. I, the airplanes I started going to the right, um, kind of corrected a little bit to the left, a little more than I should. Again, maybe I should have taxied it before I actually landed the airplane, so that's on me. But nothing crazy, nice and easy landing, um, especially for a first landing. Uh, I'm happy with it. Okay, so now that the easy stuff is done, um, I'm actually going to take the airplane and do some combat with it, uh, dogfighting, against the Focke Wolf 190. Um, this is against an AI set at a veteran level. I'm not going to go to Ace this time, um, but I just want to see how it handles. Here's the merge. I'm just going to do a nice little shallow oblique to the left. Because of the way the engines are set up, it's easier to turn the mosquito to the left. And it looks like we're doing a, a one circle. I don't know how to set up this little gun sight. I'm just gonna wing it with a machine gun. So I, I, again, I'm, my goal is not to not to shoot the guy. My goal here is to actually get a feel for this airplane. It seems like it's a one circle fight. I'm keeping it vertical in this video for some reason. Uh, a little more than I should, I guess. And the rudder control seems to be a little bit sensitive. You can kind of see I'm still trying to get a hang of this airplane, not to over control it. And, and basically, um, Basically, I'm trying to actually keep it in, in a one circle fight. When they come from you from the top like this, uh, the best thing to do is actually pull up and try to cut that angle on them. Here I try to reverse it and roll it over, but I kind of over rolled it a little bit. Let's keep going. He's doing this little bit of vertical game. And this is actually turning out to be a very good scissors fight. Uh, this is what is called rolling scissors. We're rolling with each other. And uh, I'm not really getting a good shooting position. But again, uh, it's the first time I'm flying this. So I'm still getting the hang of it. But I like the way I can, I can handle it. It's not something too crazy. And it does seem to be responsive to the controls. But here, there he goes vertical. Now I can't follow that. Oh, look at that. He did a rollover right on the top. Uh, and this is sort of hard to defend against. So what I'm doing is just kind of trying to keep that um, gain altitude as much as I can. He's going to end up on my tail anyway. So... Let's see if we can uh, do some sort of instantaneous turn or roll over and... Uh... Okay, so he's in our tail. Let's see if we can do a reversal and oops, 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 oh, whoa. Okay, yep, that's a spin, that's a spin. Power back, power back, rudder, rudder. 
Uh, no, it's not stopping. Let's add uh, opposite engine. Uh, where's the eject here? <laughs> they don't have the eject. Okay, so it's not stopping. Oh well, yeah, don't do not do that. Um, I got too slow and uh, rolled it in too aggressive. So basically what happened was that was a stall spin situation. It got into a spin and uh, couldn't get out of it. So something to keep in mind for next time. Okay, here's the next one. Now, this one was a long dot pipe, but I'm not going to show the whole thing. Right here, I try to stay away from the rolling scissors. So, what I started doing in this one, the fending, is actually horizontal scissors. I got a bigger wing, so I can get slower, and I can beat him in horizontal scissors. And over here, you can see that slowly, even though he was behind us, kind of getting him up front. So, I try to shoot here. Now missed him. We didn't miss him, he just, uh, the bullets missed him. He should have flown right through the bullets. And there he goes vertical, and that's again, every time he goes vertical, that's kind of hard to defend here. So, I'm gonna come pull up. Uh, but I'm not gonna get into rolling scissor here. I'm gonna go back to the horizontal scissor. So, um, again, Get in a better position, hopefully. There's that uh, horizontal scissors. Trying to get a shooting position on him. Oh, he did a he did a high yo-yo. Oh, that's that's bad. Okay. He hit me. Oh, that's. Ugh. There's some damage to the wing. Looks like I'm losing some fluid too. So. Um, the airplane's still controllable, um, not as good as it was, but uh, I keep on flying, obviously, to the end. Okay, let me push this forward. Basically what happens is we do this for a while. Uh, let's push this forward. And um, here's a situation where he was behind me. And again, I'm trying, I'm just doing horizontal scissors here, trying to uh, trying to get him to overshoot. The plane's pretty responsive. Okay, there he goes. One more turn here. And uh, this is gonna be close. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Fire, 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 fire. Okay, ooh, got him. Oh, got him, got, got his wing, got his wing. Okay. I don't think he's, I don't think he's damaged much, but at least we hit him. Uh, moving it forward again, uh, I did hit a couple more times, and then here uh, again, he's behind me. I'm doing the uh, uh, horizontal scissors. Got behind him, try to shoot him. I missed in this case, but again, he goes up, uh, and then I can't fall. I can't fall, not with a mosquito. Uh, so he comes down. He's going to come down right on the tail, as usual. Anytime you do that uh, barrel roll modified rollover. Is designed to come uh, to actually let somebody pass and he come on their tail. And again, he's he's behind on my tail. But this time we've been fighting fighting for 16 minutes. So there he goes under. This was my opportunity. Power out. Goes down. Try to shoot him, but oops, I we actually hit him. I actually hit him. Uh, he he's done. The propeller actually cut his plane in half, and he bailed out. I mean, in the meantime, I'm, I'm actually trying to control the airplane, seeing if my airplane is still controllable, and it looks like it, looks like it, so, um, there he goes, he's, uh, so long, hey, we got him, <laughs> whatever way you get him, you get him, um, but, uh, the airplane is pretty damaged, um, so I, uh, before I lost all control, I, I landed it, or tried to land it on one of the fields, and this, I'm going to show that landing, so don't go anywhere yet, um, Basically, I found that, that long field in front uh, that was pretty close by. I'm lining up, uh, get the maximum landing area. Fortunately, flaps and gear came down. Nothing, nothing went crazy. I put those up. I put the flaps and the gear down pretty high above, just in case. And so, if something happened, I could bail out. But uh, um, just normal approach speed. It's still handling pretty good and. Uh, Still controllable. Mm. 
Okay, that wasn't too bad of a touchdown, but the airplane started dragging to one side and with these conventional gear things, you can spin it pretty easy. Anyway, the gear collapsed and the prop hit, but uh, aside from that, uh, survived survived it. So anyway, I'm, I'm impressed. I, I think the developers did a great job with this mosquito. It's fun to fly, but it's also hard to fly. So beware of that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care and I'll see you guys soon.